my people my people i'm here again yeah man i'm talking about bad parents you have good parents you have bad parents but today i'm talking about bad parents my people yeah man i'm just here chilling out and just start the thing how me know it go anyhow you have some father they have they get there with a the woman and they give the woman three or four children and them left the children them upon the mother and gone and the mothers suffer suffer with those children no help from no father when you hear the father gone out and he go again and he get another woman pregnant and give that mother two more children another woman you know two more children him left that mother gone again and let those children suffer when i'm telling you about suffering with children those father leave them and the mother so you have the mother wander here go there and go here just to get a little bite for their children no lunch money if them sick the mother can't bring them to doctor there is no father if those children to go out there are even to get a good sunday dinner they cannot get it because what the mother have to struggle so when she get a little money she have to split up if you do this and if you do that so she cannot give the children them the things that that parents would want if that one of that child sick and to go to a doctor she have to run to the hospital and she be at the hospital whole day and whole night because there is no father to give her a money to go to a doctor and to go and check out so when she's at the doctor with one of that child the rest of the child is there crying for hungry yeah man that's what the fathers they treat their children they go out and make their children suffer suffer and the poor mothers sometimes stress stress will kill them because they don't know what to do but i'm telling you i'm telling you right now i know in my community with fathers who do that with women with their children i know they sitting down i would like a child to come to them and to help them or to give them things and at the time they leave the children them alone no they would have want one picnic to come now to come wash them clothes cook look of food bring them to doctor buy medication but when they leave those children to suffer they leave them they leave them to wander in the community they never think back and say dear going come a time when i need my children they close close their mind the worst if them and the mother have look at something the worst if them and the mother have look at something them just dash dash upon the children them and left the children them to hunger but i'm telling you i see it happening in my community father sit i would like somebody to reach out to them and where they were living their life with one woman here one woman there and one dear they never think back and say there going to be a time a time when come when they're going to need those children they have picked with mary jane and joan and they do mary they do jane and they go to joan and then go back and make the same thing and sometimes you know the three women is from the same community and you see the man hurt that one and you still go in and you get the same thing right 
You know, you know, go to another community, the same community where you see left the woman with the four picnic. And you take him up with your two. And then he go to that one. And he give that one three. And he walk out from all of you people in the community. Then you have the mothers. Who do the same thing like the fathers. They leave their children and the fathers yeah we are human what the man do the woman do it but we the woman are do we worse because guess what they are our children we feel pain to bring these children here and when you look you get three pitney with the man and something go down you run away left your three pitney upon the father left the three pitney Pan the father and you're gone and you never return to look on your children they suffer they broke you leave them you leave those children to come out to be gunman you leave them to come out to be murderers thief warmonger because guess what those children grow up and they broke a broken heart because guess what? Every day them sit and looking for a mother. There is no mother. Sometimes the father disadvantage them. Because he don't know what to do. Yeah. And that's why we have so much unwanted children. Because guess what? You have them. No mother to wash them here. No mother to cook little food. No mother to press that uniform. For that child go to school. All they do, they walk out. Sometimes when you look, you know, them left with them left the three pitney and the father. And them go back, go get three more children. And they give those the three last one all the love. They give them everything. And these three are here walking up and down. They have no abiding city in the community. Sometimes you see them at um, Miss Jane Yard just to get a little food. Just to get their hair comb. And that's why so much of these children, they get touched. Because guess what? They don't have no mother to sit and talk to them. The father have to leave them and go hustle. Sometimes the father go and cut keen. It's a very hard job. Sometimes in Ghana, out, they gonna mix the concrete. Him get up early and him cook the little food and he left it give them. Buy them buy him for come back, then eat half the food. Them eat half the food because them hungry, them have no mother. And sometimes, you know, the mother run away left the children and even the same mother family in the same community. And them not look for the children, them neither, you know. The same family family in the community and then i reach out and say you know see i'm a daughter children them so let me help and let me do what we can do the worst if the man and the woman the man hurt the woman they hit down to the ground the children then walk by because of your papa do it your mama with a dear yard but he left and gone you understand me? You ain't gonna have that woman the out this sorry, you may have that and you may have this. But mothers, I'm telling you, take the best care of your children. Don't run away and leave it because I'm telling you, in my community, right now I'm helping an elderly lady. She's 92 years old and she has one daughter. And she gave that daughter to the father when she was three years old. And that daughter, she was the helper at the father's, the father house. Because she was the dark-skinned one. And the father is a brown man. And he married to a brown woman. And that little girl was the dark-skinned one in the house. And the father wife, the girl, she has to wash her brother and sister clothes. She don't go to school. 
she is the one who take care of the animal while the brother and sister goes to school while her mother were out there living her life her daughter was there rob all her life was rob because of her mother when that girl grow up she has to press all the brother and sister uniform she grow up cannot read but her brothers and sister can read you have inspector you have police you have teacher you have nurse all of those and she she doubt herself she's bitter against her mother and now she's living in america and she will never come and visit her mother she will never come and talk to her mother i met her and i said to her i'm taking care of your mother what what happened and she take me and she told me everything no every day when i go to that house the mother will cry in her one pitney and the one pitney turning back against him how is when she did give away her one daughter to be a helper in her own father house she will get liquid broom tick in those times, you know, no police now go come to say lock up Jane or Harry or what. The father now come in and say anything because she is the outside child. Him get her with a black woman outside. So, you know, the wife, the wife children, they are the one who get all the love. And every, I have to go up there now morning noon and night to take care of that woman without pay because she don't have it she don't have it and she turned her back on her three years old daughter and each time when her daughter come she lives in another community and you will see her and you will say she said no i can't look at my mother because she get pregnant when she was 14 years old and when the father pack her and bring to her own mother, the mother tell the father, said, no, you don't want him. The father don't want her now because she have to seek love another way. Because the father not loving her and all she knows, she is the helper at the house. And when she come to the mother, the mother said, no, she don't want her. And that girl have to bounce here, bounce there, bounce here, bounce there with that belly till somebody take her up and put her up and she have her son. And she just can't love her mother. But every day her mother is crying that her daughter is not taking care of her. So we have to remember our children. We're going to you want them. In the long run, we go war with Pitney. Mother, don't leave your child and the father. If the father is not giving you anything for that child, pray and ask God to help you. Yes, you are going to say every day, I go pray, 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 pray. But guess what? When the time come, it come. Satisfy with the banana satisfy with that one cocoa or a piece of yam get some butter and eat with it because when your day when you give away your child and you're going to need that child that child going to turn him back this generation is a different generation from our time these pe young people are going up bitterly. So me a big father and me a big mother. Take care of that orange and that banana that God has gave to you. The Bible says, honor thy father 
and thy mother. He never said, Anna, your mother and your father, you know. He said, Anna, your father and mother. So you don't look at it. Your father is a big use. Our father is a big use to us. And he said again, provoke not your children to run. And a lot of us, father and mother, we do that to our children. Please, I'm asking the mother, especially the mother. I remember, this is a part of my story. When, my, when I pregnant with my son, I did have my, my daughter is six years older than my son. And when I get pregnant with my son, the father walk away. I do not want another child. I only want the girl. And the father said, no man, suppose the girl dead. You need another child. And I always look about looking at it and say, one pitnian or pitnian. Six year, get pregnant. And after me pre get pregnant, the father walk away, leave me with a six year old and a, and, and, and a big belly. When he find out that I'm pregnant, when he find out, when I told him it was four months pregnant, Four months pregnant. Me and that man live for how many years? And when I get pregnant with my son, he walk away. I never run from my daughter. I was living in his, his parents' house. And I could walk away, leave my, with my daughter, leave my daughter, or got my son, and leave them. And I said, who, me? My mother give me away. My mother, my father, my mother leave me and my father. And my father give me to her, his sister. And I was the slave in that house. And when I look at it, I could never leave my children. And I fight and I fight with my children. And they are no, especially my son is a blessing. He is a bless. My daughter is a blessing. You know, don't get me wrong. But my son, mothers, you know, so we are with boy Pitney, they love we and they not left we, you know. The boy Pitney, them not left we. Your boy Pitney, they tend to us more than the girls. I never leave my child. I never walk out on my two child. When I have my son, oh my God. That was a blessing. So I know about giving my, when parents give away children, because I was in that. Yeah. So parents, mother and father, if you don't ready for a child, don't go out there and get a child. And if you go and get a child, know the man or know the woman who you get your pitney with. Because the man come in good, you know. And the woman come in good. And when things now go them way, them say, guess what? You can't help me. Them gone out. They gone look somebody who them say can't help them. And you know what happened? <coughs> Sorry. When they leave us, you know, and gone, God just open way for we. Our blessing just are coming now. We are blessed. You know what them say? When them say, you look good, you know? Why me no know the debris, you know? And the devil make this happen. Sometimes it's not the devil. We tell lie on the devil. Yeah, we tell lie on the devil. So I'm just, I'm just advising mothers, take care of your children. Love them. Don't care how time is hard. You have them already. I feel with them. Let me take care of them. Fathers, support your children. Don't care how hard life is. It's yours. Love them because you see when you're old, if we live to older, we sit. That's the time we know the use of our children. So I'm just telling you, people, mothers and father, love your children. Don't care what happened. If it's even one upper, give it to them. Love them. Peace out. Love you, my people. God bless you all.